Hello, in this episode we are going to make Font Awesome work with Rail 7 and Import Maps. Font Awesome is a great library of different icons and I have been using it in my uh, uh, projects for many years. If we go to search, we'll have uh, a lot of free icons, solid, uh, regular and uh, brand icons are uh, free. If we add the light then there won't be any free ones here I guess. As you see, no thin and no do do tone. So there are solid, regular and brand icons that uh, are free. You can find any icon and uh, get an uh, HTML tag with a class that you can add to your application. So let's try doing this. Uh, let's try adding font awesome to a Rails app. Here I've got an empty Rails app where I have just one page. And I'll start the server and navigate to app views to this page and try to display an icon. And obviously there is nothing to display because we don't have this uh, class of font awesome installed yet. So we need to somehow install font awesome in our application. Well, uh, the easiest way is going to uh, add this package and we're going to add it with input maps. If we go to the npm package, we see that we have uh, uh, npm i for awesome slash font awesome free. Well, let's take this command and play with this command. So uh, this is how we edit with uh, npm, but we are going to do it with import map. So instead we will say import map pin for awesome for awesome free. Let's uh, run this command in the console. Import map pin for awesome for awesome free. Okay, it didn't find the command, so I will say uh, uh, dot slash bin slash import map dot pin. And you see it says pin in. Well, if we navigate to our uh, config input map, you will see that this pin has been added. So we are adding this npm package to our well input maps. Kind of this input, kind of the npm package. And uh, will it work now? Let's see. I will go to Rails server. No, we don't have it working yet. So uh, we will need to add Font Awesome Font Awesome Free to our application JS. I will go to JavaScript application JS, and here I will say import Font Awesome Font Awesome Free. I will refresh. Will it work or not? No, because uh, here uh, instead of saying Font Font Awesome .js, we also need to say uh, instead of Font Awesome JS, we will say all so that we import all the files. Uh, how do I know this? Basically, if we go to explore, somewhere here, we can try to explore the files and browse files. In just we will have an option to just add all the available free files. Here it is. So I'm kind of adding this uh, just all file. So I'm changing font awesome to all here and I will refresh. And you see, actually an icon was added. Let's uh, have a look at this icon. You see, this is a font awesome icon. Let's try adding a few other icons, like an address book, for example. Let's uh, try adding, uh, I know, the Amazon uh, brand icon. Or something else. So you see here we have a solid icon, a brand icon, and uh, what? Other icons are free. Regular icons. Let's try adding a regular icon like a bell, for example. I'll remove that icon. And here you see we've got three different icons, different types of icons that we can add uh, to our application. And uh, it kind of works. And as a next step, we can also customize these icons. So the easiest thing is to add some color. Let's just try adding some color. I will just say style. And uh, in a simple CSS way, I would say color uh, green, for example. Let's see if it works. Yeah, you see the color has changed. And we can add the different additional uh, font awesome transformations and styles. If we go to the font awesome docs, you'll see the styling page. And here we've got uh, such things as size. So we have some default uh, sizes. We can say uh, FA to Excel, for example. Let's try adding this uh, uh, class. And you see this icon was made bit bigger. Let's uh, try adding something different. So we've had the size. Let's try adding some animations. 
So here we have different animations. We can add FA beat. Let's add FA beat to this one. You see, it's a kind of beating. We can uh, add some kind of fade. Let's add FA fade. You see, the other one is fading. And we can add something like bounce, whatever, flip, but I like the spin one a lot. So let's add this kind of refresh button. Let's add the, the spinner. Yeah, here you see, it's kind of spinning, it's uh, like refreshing or whatever. So it's really easy. And uh, we can also add some basic rotation. So let's have a look at the rotation options. So we can say FA rotate 90 degrees, for example. Let's make, let's rotate the Amazon brand by 90 degrees. You see it is rotated. And you see there are some default uh, rotations like 90, 180, 270. But what if we want to rotate it like 37 degrees, for example? If I uh, try to say 37, you see the class was not found, so it gives us kind of an error. And to be able to rotate it by, let's say, 37 degrees, here we have uh, an option FA rotate by. So uh, let's say FA rotate by, and here we're going to need to add a style of FA rotate angle. So I would say style, FA rotate angle, and the angle would be, for example, 30, uh, seven degrees let's see if it works yeah you see it has rotated by 37 degrees let's just add the uh, another fa rotate 90 for example so you see we can give any degree of rotation we can easily add colors we can change the size of the icons and we can have uh, text in line with them so that's about it again the most important things we have added the pin to our input maps right here, we have changed the uh, font awesome to all here, and we have included font awesome free in our application GS. And now we are free to add font awesome anywhere inside our application. Thanks for watching and have a great day.